go boom 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 okay here we go we're ready to shoot off a ton of missiles from the boat yes <laughs> Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue. And yes folks, we are back once again, and today we are back with some awesome creations. So today's first creation is a missile ship. I'm actually really curious as to how this works. I was looking at it on the uh, workshop. It was actually sent through my Discord, which by the way, if you're a creator on Stormworks and you do want to share your creations, you can always uh, join the Discord link down in the description and uh, share it that way. But yeah, all the links will be down in the description for the creations that you see in today's episode. And we've got a couple other cool things that we're going to be checking out besides this little ship, so tune in. And if you guys have any suggestions for future Stormworks episodes, comment below. And if you're enjoying this series on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's go launch some missiles. Alright, so this is the Modern Missile Attack Boat by Doomsday. This thing looks absolutely amazing. So this thing has missiles in it. It's apparently nuclear-powered. Uh, it's got flares for, uh, I guess, anti-air uh, missiles, maybe heat-seeking missiles. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump aboard here. I'm really, really curious as to how this is going to work. So, also, supposedly, this creator is working on a uh, guided missile that will actually run into ships. So, I'm actually really excited about that. I think these just pretty much shoot straight up in the air. Let's go and get the lights on here. So, we have our survival equipment. Uh, we need to find where the, I guess the reactor is real quick. Oh, look at this. He's got little icons for the room. So you have a storage room in here. Okay, got some pumps and stuff. All right, where is this? Oh, armory. Okay, hold on. Let's look in this. Oh, look at this. He's painted like guns and stuff and vest on the wall. That's actually really neat. Uh, maybe one day we'll have weapons. I don't know if that's on the top priority of the Stormworks creators, but, or the, uh, the devs, I should say. Uh, but maybe... Uh, let's see, what do we have here? So we got a backlight, there's the, uh, this is the engine battery. When the current core runs out of power, the reactor will stop making power, so you would want to change this as soon as possible. So I guess we're running on, like, a backup battery at the moment. You're not probably in here. Here we go. Alright, so, do I need, like, a hazmat suit or some sort of, like, special equipment to be down here? Ah, right, here's the fusion reactor. Alright. This is really awesome. So, activate turbines, okay, connect, okay, we better connect the uh, engine power here, uh, start the generator, okay, that's run in, let's go activate turbines, are we, I feel like we're moving, hold on, what's this down here, let's go and power up the reactor, I don't know if I'm doing this, don't remove core from charging station or it won't charge, okay, let's don't, let's not do, wait, wait, do I have to actually stick one of these cores in here, you're serious? Okay, well, this is definitely one of the most unique startup procedures I've ever seen for a ship. Oh, go ahead and chunk that in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, oh, let go of that. Okay, so... Oh, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope. put that back in. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right, so we have a core in there. Does that mean that we're good to go? Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, look at this. So you actually have to charge these, too. So we can stick these like that. This is pretty genius. Okay, I can't even tell if we're moving or not. Hold on, let's jump up here. Uh, real quick, this is the missile maintenance room. Uh, let's go and open this. Uh, radioactive materials ahead. Are we shooting nukes? Wait, that's one of the missiles cut open. Oh, that is cool. So yeah, it's a cutout. This is what the missiles would look like. This is amazing. I really like this. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll go back up. Uh, let's see if we're ready to move here. Like, I can't hear the ship running, but it apparently doesn't have traditional engines. So, it might be ready to go. Holy man, we were moving. Okay, I thought the boat kind of tilted back a little bit. Alright, so let's try something real quick. Let's go into night mode. So, we'll go... Let's go and switch the time. So, let's go night lights. Boom. With that red glow. That's cool. Alright. So, we're going to do a couple things here. Let's go ahead. Say we're under attack. Uh, there's not a seed here. Hopefully, we can see this. Let's go ahead and open the flare doors real quick. Where are those at? There's the missile doors. Or the flares. They might be up there. There they are. All right. So, let's go ahead and open all these real quick. 
So we'll do these, and then we'll start to shoot these out. So say we're under attack here. Uh, missiles are coming towards us. Uh, heat seekers. Uh, we need to go ahead and start shooting these off. See if we can see it. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, let's go. Let's fire a couple of these off, and let's get here. <laughs> There's little uh, blocks shooting out of it. Uh, like little glowy blocks. That's actually cool. Actually, they do glow. The one in the water over there just uh, flung over there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> these are legit flares. All right, so that's a thing. All right, so I think we're ready for the missile launch. So we got the flares. You got like a little uh, targeting systems, uh, which I don't think this actually really works. Uh, but he is working, like I said, on some sort of targeting thing. Wait, is this actually... Does it know where these are? Hold on. So if I were to tell it uh, next target... Okay, now it's targeting the military base, Spy Cakes Terminal, Komodo Terminal. Will it actually target that? Or you can have it target the current location. This is crazy. Hold on, let's go ahead and go... Let's open door one. Door one's ready to go. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, fire missile one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can hear it powering up. Don't explode on me. Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. Look at it! <laughs> wait. Question is, is it actually... Is it going to the creative base? Oh, uh, well, it's going somewhere. Wow, that thing is fast. Uh, let's see. Which direction is that going in? Okay, so it's going west. Is the creative base west of us? I, th I don't think it's actually targeting those things right now. I think that's being worked on. So let's go ahead. Let's open up all the doors real quick. We need to do this again, and we need to set a plane above this and just have these rain in on it. So let's go boom, 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 boom. Okay, here we go. We're ready to shoot off a ton of missiles from the boat. Yes! <laughs> ah, that is cool. Uh, let's go back into camera mode here, photo mode. Let's see. Do they have any rhyme or reason to where they... Oh, they all turned. Dude, that is beautiful. Holy man. And they're all going over there. They all went in the same direction. I think they all just dropped into the water. That's incredible. All right. I don't think you've seen the last of this, folks, because I want to show this to the boys, and we might have to do a, some sort of video on this thing in multiplayer. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below if that's something you'd like to see. Wow. All right. We better move on to the next creation. All right, so the next creation we have is the ACI Atmospheric Planetary Shuttle by Pico War. Uh, this was also shared through my Discord, and this looks pretty cool. I like shuttles. I like spacecraft uh, in Stormworks. Probably my favorite one so far, I think it was by Ghost. It was one of the Halo ships. It was amazing, but this, uh, well, this is looking pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm assuming we go, yep, right here. Oh, look at that. Ooh, this is really futuristic looking. Okay, let's make sure. Let's go door. Up oh, on. Ramp, then door. There we go. All right, so I know there's got to be a light around here. Oh, this is a big control panel. Hover control, reactor control, large keypad. I'm probably going to need to read the instructions on this real quick. Uh, this might be our startup procedure. Here's the front. Okay, so. Oh, it's just an engine on. There's nav lights, parking brakes on, landing gear. Huh. It's actually not too complicated, I don't think. So if I just go... Uh-oh. Yep, don't think we fired up there. All right, we might want to read this. Okay, let's try this again. Let's go engines. Okay, so engines is on. Is it... No? Oh, okay. So we actually have to hold this down. She sounds like it's... Oh, there we go. She comes to life. Uh, we might want to turn the brakes off. Uh, yeah, we're getting warning lights. Sorry. Bad. Turn off the parking brakes. Okay. Let's go ahead and go. Dude, check this out. All right. Come on. Come on. Am I holding this? Okay. Vertical. VTOL. Let's roll up, please. Uh, it says it probably needs to be in VTOL mode. Hold on. Let's see. Let's go ahead. Can we turn this? Uh, there we go. Okay, let's turn this thing around real quick. Ah, oh, you know what? Yeah, you need to have, like, the reactor and all. Oh, there we go. Okay, hover control. Set value from... Okay, let's just go one. Okay. Oh, it's powering itself up here. Okay, so those other keypads look like dummy pads. 
All right. Oh, there we go. All right. So you need to play with the controls in the back. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Why are we? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> My bad. My bad. That was that was Komodo's fault. He blew up the spaceship immediately. All right. Let's reset that. All right, so I know a little bit more about how this thing works. Uh, let's go ahead and go ramp and door. All right, so we want to go ahead and go reactor control. So we're going to set this to 100. Okay, let's go 100. Okay, so she's powered up, and there's a hover control. Uh, let's go 0 0.50 on that. Okay, so she should start to, to wind up a bit. Actually, she needs to be uh, turned on here with the engine. So let's go boom. Okay, nav lights are back on, landing gear off. Oh, actually, probably want that on, the parking brake. We'll turn that off. Actually, do the landing gear, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because it should just take off here. All right, so if I start going, oop. I like how when it receives power, the lights get brighter, and it's like, that is actually really, really cool. Uh, it's the flying portion. Okay, here we go. There we go. So, nose seems to want to tilt down quite a bit, but... Once you get used to it here, I think we're good. I know I'm flying a little bit wobbly. It's fine. Komodo knows what he's doing. Well, actually, not really. Never go off. Like, say you're watching one of these creation videos, and it looks like it flies really bad. Never believe what you see, because Komodo is not a really good flyer. So it's probably, like, this thing is probably the most stable thing in the world, and Komodo just flies it really bad. Actually, I take that back. This thing actually is really stable. That's nice. Now, is there a way to set the engines, like, permanently on? Because it feels like if I let off here, it's going to dive out of the sky. And I don't really want that for this, uh, this creation. I'm actually enjoying this. Oh, look at that. That's cool. I love the lights on it, too. I bet you this thing looks uh, pretty awesome at night. Let's go and go up. So, let's go. Uh oh Oh, she's dipping. Oh, she's dipping. Oh, there we go. That is awesome. Wow, I like that a lot. Very cool. This is the first time we've ever checked out one of Pico Wars. Uh, I think I'm saying that right. Pico War, Peak of Wars uh, creations. All right, so we're flying above the clouds here. I think it's ready to nosedive this thing. Here we go. Uh, oh, wait, is it stabilizing itself? Hold on, can I walk around on this? Oh, uh, uh oh, right. You know, I feel like it's somewhat stable right now. You know what would be really bad though? If we were to go zero on the, uh, the little core here. Here we go. Oh, she just went dim on us. Turn on the flashlight. Uh, I'm assuming the back door still works, right? There we go. Uh, let's get the ramp here. I know we're falling right now. No, this is this is fine. Everything's okay. Oh, oh and what the? Is that a cloud or an island? I think that's a cl Oh, I didn't realize we were that high up. Well, that'll come down in like 30 seconds. I don't even know what I'm falling into. We're at like sunset here. Oh, there's the water. I was looking for that. Oh, and swim up and... Ah, look at that. It's beautiful. I don't know where the spacecraft went though. Pretty sure it's gone. All right, let's move on to the next thing. All right, so for our next creation here, we have a... It's called the Strider SR. Uh, it is a 350 knot speed racer. This is by Geekness, uh, link down in the description, and I'm excited for this. I like going fast in Stormworks because normally when I go fast, stuff breaks. So, all right. This is actually weird looking. Like, would you really trust going 350 knots and just being like strapped onto the back of it like this? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be cool. All right, so launch control. Don't forget to increase the RPS limit. So as you start, stop, disengage uh, the clutch on the jets. Uh, active engine brakes. Okay, so if we go, okay. Oh, that's always a good sign. Let's go ahead and turn that up. Okay, so we want to disengage this and that. And then we got a launch control. Uh, it looks like we're aiming. Okay, this is gonna be fine. All right, click that. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, you know, Komodo needs to read the instructions. I think we've already blown up the ship. It's fine. We're just going to turn these off, and we're going to restart this. Okay, so we press 1 to start the uh, start and stop. So let's go and go boom. 
Okay, so we just press... Oh, there it goes. Okay. I was just reading the instructions. So, the launch control is just, I guess, for, uh, like, racing. You'll have, like, a, a launch control where you can just start off really fast and... Oh, jeez. Are you kidding me? We are going 350 knots. Why? Why is this a thing? Why does this turn so well? Holy man, you could get to any rescue, like, really quick. That's actually cool looking. Oh, let's uh, race by the island here. No, this is perfectly safe. Like, one wrong turn, you hit a rock, you're dead. Uh oh, oh, there is that. This is ridiculous. I'm not sure this would work in multiplayer. I, it seems like the person, whoever is the host is fine, but the clients would be, like, lagging as the game's trying to load everything in because you're moving way too fast. Whoop, <laughs> there's that island there. There's a uh, the refinery island. Oh, there's the uh, oil platform. Let's see if we can get through the legs here. Uh oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Uh, there's the other oil platform. There's probably one of the creative islands. Or one of the, I shouldn't say creative island, one of the build a base islands. Uh, let's go by this one here. We're just loading everything in. There's the nuclear reactor. It's like we're taking you on a tour of Stormworks Islands as we fly. Oh, we can't get under that one. Okay, it's probably good we don't do that. Uh, there's a wind turbine. Mega Island might be to our left side. There's the medical island, I think. There's the starter career island. Okay, we're just going to fly by that. Let's go to our left here. I see something bigger. This might be the Mega Island. Where are the train islands at from here? Dude, this is like the quickest I've ever discovered all the islands. This is either the train island here or the mega island. Might be the mega island. Uh, let's see. We're going to pass by it. No? Wait, what island is that? It's just a big mass of land. Okay, there's another wind turbine out this way. Keep going this way, I guess. Okay, there's your wind turbine. We uh, apparently have probably the airport island coming up next. From what I can see, anything over the left side? Nope. Yep, here's the airport. Oh, that is probably the train island right there. Or the mega island. I'm still trying to debate. Uh, train mega... No, that's the train island right there. So we've already discovered that. Like, how much of the map have we actually mapped out here? Look at that thing move. Wow, we started down towards the bottom. That's incredible. Uh, let's go left. We could totally go under the bridge here. All right. We're ready for an epic maneuver. Let's go under the bridge over here. You know, if these things would hold up in multiplayer, these would be fun to race. Like, you could do a across-the-map race. Like, get to one island. Oh, no! Okay. No, nope, it's fine. Oh, wait. She... Is it good? Okay, she can take a bit of damage. Hold on, let's let it settle out in the water here. We're kind of up in the air. Okay, no. Oh, come on. Uh, I feel like we we made a boo-boo. Okay, let's go up. Oh, yeah, we broke something because now she She actually turned into a hovercraft. Oh, geez. Yeah, something's definitely off now. We uh, might have damaged it a little bit. Oh, let's hit the island real quick This is an incredible craft. This is Probably the fastest craft that we've ever checked out. You know one thing that we need to check out is the uh, The trains So we kind of forgot about the trains. We need to work with those a little bit more uh, Oh, there we go. Uh, nailed it Perfect landing. Oh, and we're gone. You know, what happens if you were to hit an island at full speed with this? All right, here we are. We're going uh, 350 knots. Let's go and see if we can uh, make landfall here. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> you know, that actually slows down a lot quicker than I thought it would. I thought maybe using the beach was going to be good there. And, oh, and it just landed on our head. Wow, that is a cool craft. Uh, we might be able to use that more often, too. Uh, really, if I had that in career mode, I'd be really impressed because you could get from point A to point B. You never have to worry about time limits again. Like, you get instantly out to where you need to go. That's awesome. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, so for our final creation here, we have a Viking longship. This is by Lorg, and this is fully functional. Like, there is not... A paddle or there's not an engine there's tons of paddles uh, there's not an engine here so I think we've checked out a uh, oh we actually bounced that around uh, we've checked out a uh, I think it was a paddle steamer or something before that actually used the paddles that would uh, make it work and supposedly this is basically the same thing as soon as I can get up on this ladder 
uh, but it's with paddles. So I'm curious to see how this works. All right, so this is a thing. Okay, so there's, well, let's turn the torches on real quick. We're about to go. Let's go torch here and go blow the Viking horn. All right, we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and start rowing here. So let's get into the helm. There we go. And I'm assuming, do I just, uh, oh, yeah, it's uh, one to start rowing. Okay. And then you can row to the starboard and the port side. Look at this. It's actually working. Uh, there's no steering here. The steering is your uh, two and three, which, by the way, we need to... Okay, so if we row this way, I gotta remember my rowing. So we gotta hold, okay, so we wanna hold this side here. So you hold and release, hold and release, and it'll start to try to guide the boat over to the side. I think we're gonna hit something here. You know, if we could clear the dock here, we'd have open sea. Uh, let's try to get it to turn a bit. Uh, come on, shimmy over, shimmy over. Uh, if I can just clear it, we'll be good to go. We'll have open sea. Let's go and go, okay, let's start rolling again. This is insane. Like, this is really, really cool. So, yeah, it's a fully functional rowboat here. I know Komodo is having a problem getting out of the dock, but, I mean, it's really on me here. Uh, it's trying to learn how to actually uh, row with the uh, just the one side here. Come on. Come on. You know, it might be best actually to reset this. I think it drifted a little bit. That's cool, though. So, it actually uses the, uh, the paddles to push it forward. So, let me go immediately here to the helm. Let's go ahead and make an epic jump. Oop, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and start paddling here. That way we can get clear of this dock. There we go. Okay. We're rowing again. We are going. It tends to favor the left side a little bit. Uh, but if we can get clear of this, I think we'll be okay. Come on, baby. Get clear. We need to go out to sea. There it goes. That is genius. I like that. I like that a whole lot. All right, let's go here. Uh, let's go and turn on the torches real quick. There we go. Torches are on. Blow the horn. Let them know we're leaving the dock. Actually, was that another button there? Another torch? Uh, there we go. That is cool. Ah, we're sailing like a bike. Actually, I shouldn't even say sailing. Uh, we're, we're rowing like a Viking right now. That is glorious looking. I like the design, too. Look at that front end. That is cool. Wow. That's impressive. I like this a lot. All right, so there's one last thing we have to do with this thing. We gotta hit it with the tsunami real quick, because I'm just curious. Will this thing row up the tsunami, and will it be able to stay? Actually, I think it's so flat that I don't think it would have an issue at all, really. Uh, I think this is actually gonna be able to withstand it. Now, question is, which way? Oh, it's coming from the side, isn't it? Okay, men, let's go ahead and start paddling uh, this way to try to turn the boat real quick. Let's go up. Oh. Just kind of work it real quick because the tsunami's coming, so it's going to work. Uh, we're, this is something I never thought we would say in Stormworks. We're going to be in a Viking boat, and we're going to get it hit by a tsunami. Uh, you know what? We need to keep rowing here. Where, am I supposed to use that with the combination of the rowing? Oh, it does override it. Okay, so we want to keep going forward with the momentum and then start to turn. I think that's actually working a little bit better. I, I think we're screwed either way, though, because, uh, yeah, it's almost here. Here she comes. All right, what's going to happen here? I think it's actually going to take this like a champ. It's light, so it's going to stay on top of the tsunami. It shouldn't sink down in it at all. And here we go. We're getting the forward momentum. Uh, the only thing that might defeat us is the island. Oh, look at all the stuff flying. Uh oh, uh oh, we might capsize here. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Uh-oh, we're going to be upside down, aren't we? No, there we go. Look at that. It survived it. It survived... Never mind. Wait. No, we're still tumbling. We're good. The Vikings are holding on right now. Uh, everybody's got their seatbelts on. Oh, never mind. And she's going to settle upside down. It's probably best if we abandon ship here. That is amazing, though. I, I like that a lot. Uh, it actually, uh, surprisingly, it runs well. I always found when stuff hits the, uh, the water like that. I know the paddle steamer was really laggy, but this is actually really nice. Uh, it's upside down now, but... Uh, nonetheless, very impressive from Lord. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap up this episode of Stormworks Creations. Like I said, all the links are in the description for the creations in today's episode. I strongly suggest go checking them out. Go support the workshop creators. And I want to thank you guys for all the support on this series. You guys are awesome. And we will see you guys next time.